Hey, good morning. How's it going? Today is going great. Running ads like every single day. Um, but some other cool things that we have going on. Working on website for Brandale Tools, which is the new project that I mentioned in yesterday's vlog. So that's exciting. I'm going to tell you about like how I'm developing the product, what my thought was behind it, who it's for, what it's for, what it does. And I think that's a super, like when it comes to marketing, there's nothing more important than knowing what the product is, who it's for, and what it ultimately does at the end of the day. So I'm gonna share with you what I'm thinking there from that standpoint. Today's kind of a busy day. I had meetings already this morning. My phone always, always distracting me. I had meetings this morning. Um, my, Michelle, my wife, has an appointment. So I've got watching the kids here in just a little bit. It's 11.15ish. So going to be getting a lot of stuff done. I'm gonna tell you about the client avatar. I'm gonna tell you about how the product's gonna work. And I think it's going to be super helpful from a marketing perspective. So if you've ever thought about starting something, whether, like, it doesn't matter if it's going to be content or a product or whatever it is, it needs to be for somebody so that it cut through the noise. And I think that that's, like, the one of the most important things, as I mentioned. So um, we'll get into that today, and uh, I think it's going to be awesome. So let's let's get working on stuff. All right, so um, working away today, I wanted to show you something that's kind of cool that I've been working on. So we decided to go with Shopify for um, the sales side of the new project and website. And the reason why we decided that was just it's a lot more secure, a lot more stable, and it doesn't, like WordPress is fantastic, but it really feels like you're holding things together, especially from a membership side membership site and I know that people might disagree but it feels like it's just held together with like duct tape and bubble gum instead of like uh more of like an e-commerce like enterprise level platform so I th we're going with Shopify we're going to be using a rebilling app within it for membership so it's going to be a membership based software um trying to make it super robust in the beta that's going to be coming out for the the first iteration of the product and um anyways i think it should be really exciting here's what it looks like so far on shopify i got a theme up here um that i think is pretty cool made some graphics for it working on logos and branding and things like that so that is um going good i think one of the reasons why i'm most excited about it is that the the problem that it solves is very specific it's also very helpful. You can easily convey the value really quickly, and you can also convey the value to the target market really quickly. So um, from a branding perspective and a messaging perspective as far as what happens to the client, who the client is, so this is specifically for people that are looking to become either micro-influencers or influencers, meaning that they create content or they have a community or they have an online business and they're looking to expand their influence and get paid specifically, get paid with either brand deals, speaking gigs, sponsorships, things like that. Uh, and what this tool does is it allows them to create all kinds of tools around that. And I'll tell you more about it. We don't have like all of the, the features of it laid out yet for what will be available in the first thing, but the first version of it. But it's really cool because um, that's a very specific group of people based on search volume and things that's happening inside of this. Um, I think that it's really, really cool. Now, I, th I do think that there, once we get going, I think there will be a lot of competition, but I, th I think that the way that we can get around the competition and stand out will be through support and strategies and tactics and things like that, um, that we help to give people that become members of this community. So it's going to be ongoing support and, um, things like that, that are not necessarily something that's duplicatable because software can be ripped off and reduplicate it. But if we have a product that is unique, plus we offer support and training and all kinds of cool things, um, that makes it you know very specific and unique. So um, I was just, as far as like the, the process that I go through, I'll tell you really quick what I do for the process, which is this. So whenever I'm setting up either branding or packaging or like marketing messaging or things like that, I will typically go through 
list out who the client avatar is. Once we have that figured out, we'll figure out what the before and after grid is. Once we figure that out, we basically create a company profile. And if I set all of this up, then it's very, very simple to fill out all the different pages of the website, like the About Me section, to create ads, to talk about features in terms of benefits, not just in terms of features, and all the things that are very, very important when you're trying to create a cohesive marketing message. So like all of this pre-work, it just is super important to, so that you get it nailed down to exactly who you're gonna be targeting, what the messaging will be like, what will the ad say, what are the pain points that we're gonna hit on. And right now I have an idea of what is going to be successful and what's gonna be good because I work with people that are doing this actively, right? And I'm gonna be, I'm absolutely gonna be documenting on how to use this to get brand deals and sponsors and stuff with my channel too. Um, so, and partnerships and all kinds of cool things. So, um, that being said though, having everything written out of like, who's the client avatar? What's their age? What's their name? What's, how many children do they have? Do they have kids? What's their education level? What's their income level? What do they do for a living? What are their biggest pain points? What are their biggest challenges? What are their goals, their hopes, their dreams? Things like that it helps to find the client avatar. Then what do they look like before the product? And then what do they look like after the product? And then once we have that defined, what does the company stand for? What is the biggest difference between your company and the other companies? What are the five unique selling proposition points for the product? Um, what else? What do you stand for? Not only that, but what do you stand against? And I think that that's super important too, so that you can unify behind a common enemy, whether that's like mindset or a specific set of problems people have, or just like all kinds of things. So um, that's kind of what I'm working on today. And I think that this is gonna be pretty awesome in general. So um, I'll give you more details on that as it comes, but I think that's gonna do it for today. I've got a bunch of ads to run. I've got a bunch of things to go on. Um, I would love to know though, do you have a software product? I think that Shopify is not super typically used for software. Um, it's more a physical product business, not, not necessarily service related business either. Um, just because there's kind of constraints to it and not, not too many themes for it and things. I need, I need some caffeine. Um, anyways. I'm going to get to it. I would love to know, though, what do you think? Do you use Shopify, WooCommerce, or something else for your business? I would love to know. All right, everybody. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.